I watched it yesterday. Uh, I didn't know too much about it, truth be told. I had the synopsis sent through from the, from Megan uh, mm-hmm. and was just just kind of blown away by it because it's it's so interesting and so important and there's so many so many things in there to to dive into. But I just wanted to begin with with the kind of the idea and the genesis when the director kind of gave you the script. It's a very unique script and as I say very important in many ways. What was your rea- your first reaction when you when you read what he was what he was trying to do? Well, um I'm I'm non-binary and uh, I've been acting for a while, but um this was my first time playing a non-binary person. Um so that was the real sort of in point for me. It was I was excited um to have the opportunity to do that for the first time. Was it a was it a long process to get this made? Because obviously indie movies like this obviously take a bit of while to get financing and everything else. Did you come on board when it was still in that process, or did you come on board when no, it was I, kind of a go? I came on I came on board quite soon before filming started, and then filming was like fourteen days. So it, that's why I sort of giggle when when you described it as like indie films obviously being a long process because for me it felt like a massive whirlwind. <laughs> <laughs> 14 days that's 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 incredible that's an incredible achievement to do it in 14 days although with a lot of people that because we speak to a lot of people on the site from you know big blockbusters to the indie movie and everything else about how unique an energy that creates in terms of especially with a love story and that you know you it, it gives you such a certain energy doing it so quickly that it'd be diff- it's very very different was it was it an interesting experience given that you've made movies you know probably in in longer time than than this one it was a total whirlwind, if I'm honest. It was like, we definitely all felt that like the pressure was on and it was very sort of go, go, go the whole time. And, you know, it, everybody's attention was, we sort of all had blinders on and we were just working on this film and like none of our friends saw us. It was like, you know, being in the trenches a little bit. It was like your own little support bubble in this crazy, yeah. crazy mm-hmm. time. <laughs> uh, so you're premiering at, at, at Raindance, which is a fantastic festival to, yeah. to debut at and they've already uh, you've already been nominated for your performance in the film which is which is incredible. Uh, yeah probably you have to wait a few on... months to get such recognition <laughs> oh man it, yeah it was, it was it's a total honor it was a really really nice surprise that's great that's great and it's, it's a fantastic audience in london i mean what are you hopeful for the audiences over here to see because not that it's a it's a movie that's intrinsically american or it, it's a it's a love story you know and as you say it's about yeah non-binary uh characters and everything else so i mean what are you what are you hoping for for the audience reaction or are you just happy that it's going to be seen by an audience because the film festival circuit has been a little bit different this year yeah absolutely i mean i'm, I'm to- i couldn't be more happy for like the, the film to have an audience and get out there and like really thrilled to have it premiere at, at rain dance and then anytime it, it's like anytime I'm asked that question about any film I'm in, like what I hope people get from it, it's how I always feel is like, I, I'm just interested in what people do get from it. That's like, that's the fun part of it for me is is being able to talk to people about it afterwards. Because people yeah. take such different and unique things away from films. Sometimes things that you wouldn't expect as it was being made. And, and that's a real part of the joy of it for me. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I watched it last night and it's 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 a real wonderful love story and obviously it has all the other stuff with it but at the, at the core of it is this really kind of complex love story that deals with stuff that this generation is is dealing with was that was that something that struck a chord with you that just you know with all the other stuff that goes on in the in in the film that it is intrinsically a love story that's that's super complex and also kind of of our time if you like yeah i would say so absolutely yeah it, it definitely is it's it's a film about a relationship really at the center of it yeah, and I, I was really I didn't know much about the the change of characters, which I thought was was a was a fascinating way to, to kind of delve into this because you know for people that like yourself that you know that don't know too much about this you know being non-binary and all that kind of stuff, people just go in and think oh you know it's whatever whatever, but it's an important thing and more important as the days go on that representation is correct and that we're talking about these and allowing people to to live the lives they want to lead. I mean, was that something in this in this film that you could see what the director was trying to do in that? you know, people, it was people like, should be able to live their lives however they want to live their lives. 100%. And it was also like as a framing device, a small nod to the fact that there is no one non-binary experience. Like, um, and it, it's not a monolith, it's not singular. And um, to be able to work with like multiple non-binary actors exploring this one character and then getting to know each other, that was a real pleasure. Yeah. And they're all, I mean, they're all fantastic in the movie. It must have been, what was that like kind of seeing the, the, the kind of all the different people, uh, obviously Bobby's in there and Lex and Chloe, I believe. I mean, yeah. did, you, did you guys spend time together or was it important that we did. you kind of, you, 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 was it important for you that you did that given that you're playing the same character, but also 
that it's reflective of your own experiences in some ways that you were able to bring your own personality to to that part of the story i mean like we all, we all had such strong trust in each other as artists like we would talk about the character and talk about the story a lot and like spend time um with each other just enjoying each other's company but like also it was really fun being able to see what everybody did it was, it was we would we enjoyed each other as performers and as people yeah and i was just uh, megan sent me uh, before about a, uh, an article on variety which i've just i've just looked at and there's some fantastic stuff in there about what your director has said and what they was trying to do and uh, the, the change the point of the actors as you say in the terms of that all you guys have had like, different experiences and you bring that experience to the screen i mean was that important for you guys as well in the sense that you your your experiences are all very very different but you're all trying to to bring awareness to to this because it, we're still talking about these things as if they're some sort of I don't know some a strange thing when actually it's just humanity it's very normal yeah, yeah. very normal yeah. you know very and, normal. There's, there's... And, and like here's here's not only like what it looks like for one person but what it looks like for four <laughs> you know yeah yeah and he said I, he, he goes on to say uh oh, sorry I'm reading this I beg your pardon I'm just, just no that's fine social, uh social responsibility of filmmaking now that that's that strikes a chord with me because y y there is a social responsibility in telling these stories because everybody's experience is different as I say I mean how how was how did you find that experience doing it because obviously your experience is different to all the other guys but in a, in a strange way you know you're all similar in that you can share your experiences together is, is what I mean yeah I'm, and how, how having that, that commonality with each other on set was really special um it's you know it's not it's not very often that like non-binary actors get to hang out together in my, in my experience so far anyway so that was a real joy and um we definitely all felt the responsibility of um, bringing this character to life in a real and um, three-dimensional way and telling this story in the most grounded way possible. And we all worked together very hard on that. Yeah. And I, I, what was it about Danny that, that struck a chord with you when you read the script for the first time? Because it's, a, as you say, it's a, you know, it's a love story, but the, the characters are so um, fascinating, you know, not just her, but her, the partner that she's with as well. You know, you're kind of, they're both trying to navigate the space of, yeah. of, of where, they want to go and it's scary for both of them but also at the same time there's a there's a love between them and a respect between them that no matter what mm -hmm. they're going to be allowed to live the lives that they want to i mean what was it about about denny as a character that kind of spoke to you when you when you read the script for the well film? what struck me about them is how um alone they are and like we, we don't see them with friends especially with like other lgbt friends like denny is sort of community -less. and um and then the the big tie she has they have is this um man that they're with and and then what it's like to be coming to terms with your gender identity which can be a really alienating um thing to grapple with by yourself when you don't have a framework for it and then to be afraid that um the person you love will not understand that or treat you the same you know i that that internal confusion and and fear and that sort of lonely feeling i was like oh yeah that i recognize that <laughs> absolutely recognize that yeah and uh, do, you, do you think there's there's been the kind of change that you guys would have would have would have wanted in the sense that there is more of these stories being told and not just in a you know i remember talking to uh bex taylor claus recently and she was in a film called bex. blackbird oh bex. yeah she's lovely she was lovely i met her dog on zoom that's the, the magic of these zoom calls you get to meet animals and things it's it's hilarious but she was she was in a film called blackbird and they changed the character and the relationship between her and mia wazikowska's character for her for her to be able to go yeah, and yeah. do it, which was fantastic. I mean, do you th how important is that, that these things are being doing, that these decisions are being made, that it doesn't necessarily have to be what we know. It could be, there's so much experience I in think the human it's great. now that, that now we're getting this. I mean, that, 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 must, that must fill you with, with a, a warmth and that people are starting to not treat this as, a, as something that it shouldn't be, you know, that it's, a, it's, it's, I know. it's, it's, yeah. it's humanity no, it at its best, at its best. Yeah, and I, I mean, you know, I've, and I've said this before, but like, coming into my understanding of myself like I've known I was non-binary since I was a teenager but like especially as I was starting to act and I hadn't told everyone um and I, I really very strongly believe that like it was never something I was going to be able to talk about publicly especially professionally it was I was just like well that's impossible don't worry about it and so to have it gradually become more and more possible to like to um exist authentically as myself in a professional space and then also explore that in my work it's like I I genuinely really didn't think that would ever happen. Um, so the more of it I see, the more excited I get. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hopefully this film will 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 showcase that because I think it's a fantastic film. Hopefully it gets seen by 
a big a big audience or as big as audience as you can as you can find the rain dance is a great platform for that so you know yeah. uh, i would be remiss as a fan if i didn't ask you about santa clarita diet because please uh, I was devastated when I heard the news Aww. that they were cancelling it. Uh, a bit of time has passed now, and we can reflect on it. And you know, hindsight's a funny thing. But have you? Have you? Did it? Did it? Was it painful in a way that it was cancelled? Because you know, the show seemed to have such a big. I know from in the UK, there's you know, so many friends love the show, and we all talk about it. We always talk about it together, and just the kind of absurdity of it, but the the, the cleverness and the wittiness of it is is so unique. Have you? Have you kind of got over the? the the sadness now that it's that it's that's come to an end yeah i mean it was always it was always bittersweet right and that you know we all loved working together so much and like um and that show was was such a special thing to be a part of and like we had so much fun working on it together so you know when it ended it was like oh man well okay that i mean that happens that's always a possibility working in television especially but we were just all so happy to have been able to do it at all it was like a wonderful three years playing in this mad flesh-eating world so i i always think about it very fondly <laughs> that was one thing I always wanted to ask you about shooting it and having to do all the stuff that you guys get to to do in it I guess it's one of those things where when you sign up you just go whatever happens we're just going to dive in and go for it if, if Drew Barrymore is going to be doing this then we can all we can all join in together I'm sure there was a real enthusiasm about it where it's like yep and then she becomes a zombie and you have to find ethically like the most correct people for her to murder and eat and we were like fantastic let's go Let's play around in the fake blood. Thank you so much. <laughs> I always loved your character's reaction because your re character's reaction, uh, you know, obviously she's your, she's your mum and there's a strange kind of you and Timothy play it really well in the sense that, you know, Timothy's character is almost, he's like, oh, okay, she's a zombie rather than just going, oh my goodness, what do we do? Um, but there's a, a fantastic relationship between the three of you. Do you miss, do you miss those guys? Do you miss that family? Do you oh, miss of course. all of that yeah. stuff? Do you keep in Absolutely. touch? Absolutely. Yeah, a little bit. There's definitely a lot of love there. It was so much fun working with those guys. Oh, I missed that show so terribly. I just, I'm a bit bittersweet because there's so many shows out there that I feel like have jumped the shark a little bit. <laughs> Whereas there was a lot more, <laughs> a lot more to, to say with your, with your story, which is, oh, never mind. But we have, we have the seasons that we have and Netflix will always have them. Uh, as, yeah, as, and then you, get, you get to like, you, you get to theorize whatever you think could have happened next and you're, and well, you're right, you know, there's any of it's right. Yeah, yeah. There's like probably lots of editors out there commissioning people to to write all these crazy things about the show, but they're probably all true. You could just pick yeah. any of them, and they'd be like, "Yep, correct." <laughs> Whatever you reckon happened, that happened. Good job. <laughs> uh, just finally, then, obviously, Under My Skin's coming out now. What's next for you? Have you got your next projects? And how have you how have you um, dealt with everything that's going on over there? Have you been in lockdown as well and not working? Or well I was lucky. I, I spent some time working in South Korea earlier this year and because of the South Korean government's COVID response, we were able to finish filming. So um, season two of a show I'm in called Drama World is currently in post-production, which I'm excited about. And um, like right now, it, it's just like like auditioning where possible and, and tr I'm trying to be really gentle with myself and with other people, honestly, because like who knows what's going to happen next week? Everything's different. And you know, as long as we all look after each other, we'll be right. And it's okay if like work takes a back seat for a minute. It's <laughs> the stakes are not that high. Yeah, in the absolutely. Grand scheme. absolutely. Yes, indeed. Well, congratulations with the film again. Really, really enjoyed it. I hope you have great success with it. And uh, thank, thank you so you. much for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!